What inspired you to fight for dignity for women? Uh, every human being is born as a human. They don't have to fight for the dignity. Why we are fighting for the dignity? We are human and we burn with the dignity of life. But as the being of women, we have to fight for a dignity. That is so very hard. Because uh, everyone is happy on my family that I came here in the UN and talk and give a speech like OSHA gave me a call. And that was so much, they were so happy. But before that, when I have to they know about my sexuality and they know about my work, but as you can see my two names, so that is the reason they said that if you are working with these issues, you, have, you are coming out from these issues, so you cannot use your name because that affects our images, so called images, so that is the thing. But now I think from back, from this event, Maybe, might be, might be some changes, might be hope. I, I think for any human being, including for women in particular, uh, without helping them to access and utilize basic necessities of life, which includes water, sanitation and personal hygiene, talking about dignity is a hollow world. We are looking at the process of change, of transformational change that takes long time, long term. It's a long term process, so we need to be able to engage at all levels of the societies. Uh, of course, at the higher level of policy developments, political changes and decisions, but also at the community level, at the local level, at the family level. This is what we learned at UNICEF with uh, looking after the Convention of the Right of the Children, which celebrates 25 years this year. That is not enough to have a system in place or to have laws and policies. You need to create a culture of awareness and raising the accountabilities and responsibilities with all stakeholders involved. The thing that makes me passionate about a women's rights is the need to break down harmful gender stereotypes. This is actually a human rights obligation of states, one that is articulated in the Convention on the Elimination of uh, the elimination of all forms of discrimination against women. And gender stereotypes are sometimes quite obvious, like women are not as capable or smart as men, and some of them seem quite benign, like women are nurturing or women are more caring. But all of these stereotypes combine to m make women hide menstruation in shame, to make women seek uh, places to go to meet their sanitation needs in, uh, in a hidden way, which makes them more vulnerable to attack, and have multiple other consequences for their human rights. It also is linked to the glorification of motherhood, at, while there is a denial and stigma around all the other reproductive functions that make motherhood possible, namely menstruation. So we really need to break down those stereotypes and address them as human rights obligations.